groups have accused Russia of killing more than a thousand civilians. Well, for more on this, we're joined now by William Taylor. He's the executive vice president of the U.S. Institute of Peace. He's joining us live from uh, Washington, D.C. Mr. Taylor, very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So on the face of it, uh, it seems like the Syrian government is going to be losing military support from Russia from today's decision. Just how much of a loss could this be for the Syrian government, especially given just how much Russia's military involvement changed the course of the war to the Syrian government's advantage? There's no doubt that the Syrian government uh, is, is dramatically reduced in its effectiveness now on, in the military, but it's also very worried, I imagine, that it's losing out the support on the diplomatic front. Uh, it is very possible um, that this indicates that the Russians are reducing their support for Syria and for Bashar al-Assad's government right at the beginning of the negotiations. So this ought to be a boost for Dimas Dura uh, and the negotiations, and I would imagine the Syrian government is worried. Will Russia have less influence with the Syrian government if they stop their military support? I mean, just how much influence do you think the Russians have with the Syrian government? The Syrian government it was clearly dependent on the Russians. So the Russians had a lot of influence um, with Bashar al-Assad. Um, and they were paying a price for that influence. They, it's very expensive to mount that kind of military campaign. Uh, and the Russian economy is under great stress, not just from low oil prices, but the sanctions uh, that the West, that the Europeans, that the Americans have on the Russians because of their invasion and annexation of mm -hmm. Crimea and their continued interference in southeastern Ukraine, those sanctions, low oil prices, bad economy, that it was a recipe for big problems on the economic front. So the Russians had a lot of pressure on them to get out, and that is causing the problem for the Syrian government. And what did Russia get, do you think, out of this very expensive uh, operation in Syria? Because Russia's foothold in Syria remains, though, in the way of that air base and naval base. Is that significant? I don't think that is particularly militarily significant if they withdraw the large number of aircraft that they have there. Their, their aircraft uh, have been very effective um, against uh, a lot of the rebels and, uh, as well as what they call the terrorist groups. So without that aircraft, uh, their military capability is, is reduced. They do want to, apparently the Russians want to maintain a presence um, uh, in Syria um, to maintain some ability to influence events there. William Taylor, Executive Vice President of the U.S. Institute of Peace, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you.